Hey Road Raiders, it's Yadir and I'm currently in Puerto Rico. It is officially summer, so what better way to go out kayaking with my sister, and that's how you say hi. Hey. <laughs> so today we wanted to show you guys some of the main differences between the United States and Puerto Rico. So, let's go. is known for its amazing beaches, culture, and food. While Puerto Rico is still a part of the United States, it is still very distinct and unique. One of the first main differences a lot of people notice is the land. In Texas, most of the land is flat. Depending on where you are, it could also be dry. However, in Puerto Rico, since it is an island, it has a ton of different landforms. The island is also located close to the equator, so we receive a ton of rain. The rain is great for the plants, but on the contrary, Puerto Rico receives more tropical storms and hurricanes. One of my favorite things to do in Puerto Rico is go to the beach. I love to just relax, get in the water, or sometimes I just like to walk around the rocks and see what I can find. Sometimes I find hermit crabs and other times I can find starfish, sea urchins, and crabs. So one of my favorite things is you never really know what you're going to see. It's really hard to predict what the weather is going to be like for the day because in the city it might be super cloudy but in the beach it might be really sunny. Another huge difference between the United States and Puerto Rico is the food. In the United States you can find more processed foods and also more fast foods. However, in Puerto Rico you can find a ton of natural foods straight from the island. A common misconception is that most Latin American countries eat spicy food. While this does apply to some countries, it does not necessarily apply to Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans love plantain, potatoes, yams, cod, and other fried food. Since the ground here is great for agriculture, many locals grow and raise their own vegetables and livestock, and usually sell them in the local market. I promised to show you guys the chickens, so here they are. You never really know what you're going to find in these markets. Sometimes you can find jewelry or other times you can even find bunnies. So it's definitely a gamble going to these places and you'd never know what treasure you could find. Puerto Rico isn't all grocery stores and markets though. They have a lot of amenities all over the island. Recently, a new mall just opened up and it has a bunch of you guys' favorite brands. They're very expensive, but they are there. I'm sorry for getting off topic, but my sister and I actually went to the Versace store and we saw this red robe that was $600. So as soon as we saw that, we quickly left. Another major difference is the culture. Puerto Rico has a ton of street art, murals, and sculptures across the island. This is the mural of El Morro and the Coqui, which is a tiny frog native to the island and it's famous for its call. While traveling across the island with my family, I was lucky enough to come across a group of people performing traditional Puerto Rican music and dances. So, here you guys go. Yeah, my
Rico is also rich in history. Here is Old San Juan, which used to be the old capital. There is also the Morro, which was the fort during the Spanish-American War centered in Puerto Rico. There were a ton of battles here, so this area is super important to Puerto Rican history. Now it's used as a park and a ton of people love to fly kites here. There was also a poodle reunion, so I knew I had to show you guys. Finally, one of the last differences are the houses and the streets. Opposed to Texas, where all the streets are flat and straight, Puerto Rico has a bunch of twists and turns. It can be kind of scary driving here for the first time, but once you get used to it, you will be fine. The roads are kind of narrow as a disclaimer, so be careful when driving. You won't usually find neighborhoods in Puerto Rico that often. Usually you'll find small one-story houses around the island. These houses are specifically designed for hurricanes and bad weather. That wraps up the differences between Puerto Rico and the United States. I hope you guys enjoy the video. There's a ton of footage I still want to show you guys, like me going to the casino. Did I win? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye guys.